So these songs are just little tools that I use to put my heart where I want it to be. And uh, they hold me accountable. And, uh, um, there's a lot of songs that... Um, the reason why I sing them over and over is because I don't know them. I mean, I know the, the notes and the words, but I don't know how to live it. I don't know how to see the world that way all the time. So it's like the pictures we keep by our desk of the mountaintop vista when we really need a nice view when there might not even be a good window. Um, these songs are just a, a way of reminding me of things that I've felt. And, and then there's this whole other kind of song, which is the kind of song that is uh, just the sort of cathartic one that you had to write. And, like this one, I, I wrote it and I thought, oh good, now I've got that out of my system. <laughs> I don't have to sing that. And I realized I did have to sing it for one person, my dad. But I thought, oh, I could do that. It's not too bad. And I did, and I sang it for him. And luckily, it was the start of a really good conversation, the conversation that it needed to happen. So I figured, OK, whew. I don't have to sing that again. And my dad said, you know, you should really sing that. And I couldn't believe it was him saying it. But he said, yeah, that song will do a whole lot of good. So, so for his sake, for all, this, all of us who've been through this, uh, Thank you. 
you.